What's up guys, I'm James, and welcome back to the Great Gambino channel. Today we are going to take a look at the Borealis Olisipo. If you do end up enjoying this video, make sure to subscribe or click the like button, as it really does help me out and motivates me to keep pushing this channel forward. If you are waiting for the 36mm Bambino review, it is coming soon, but I'm still waiting for it to arrive from Joma Shop. At the moment, the order is still processing, so hopefully I'll receive it by next week. Now this watch was sent over to me by Chris from the Watch Lounge, and the piece itself belongs to Rob from the Random Rob channel. He allowed Chris to send it my way for review, so I want to say thank you to both of them for allowing me to take a look at it. If you guys would like to check out some of their reviews, I will have a link down below in the description. Opening up this dark, almost chocolate brown leather travel keeper reveals the Borealis piece. The box is tied together with yellow trim in yellow interior. It's really nice and is definitely a much appreciated bonus at this price range. But let's remove the piece from the box so we can take a closer look. I just want you all to keep in mind this is a prototype and that the watch does not release until May of 2020, so some of the minor things like quality control and the packaging could possibly change. But right away we can see that beautiful vivid orange dial that makes this piece noticeable from a distance. If orange is not your thing, Borealis offers multiple other options in this very same style. This is the first Borealis we've looked at on this channel, and as stated on their website, the company is dedicated to the production of professional, reliable, affordable watches. They use the best components available from manufacturers in Asia and Switzerland, using only high-grade products during the manufacture process. With the Elisipo, the company set out to create a vintage-inspired diver that would work well to complement the other vintage watches already created in the Borealis line. Real quick, I'll give you some measurements. We have a width of 40 millimeters, lug to lug is 47 millimeters. If you want to change out the band, it's 20 millimeters, and we have a case thickness of 12 millimeters. The quality of the stamp screw down crown is superb, and the piece does offer 300 meters of water resistance. But let's go ahead and listen to what the winding function sounds like. The 120 click unidirectional bezel is a brushed ceramic. This is something I could really appreciate and wish it was used more often from other companies. We all know that ceramic is much more scratch proof than other options, but most ceramics are completed with a high gloss. Once in a while, it's nice to receive a brush matte finish that completely changes the aesthetic of the piece, giving us a different look and feel on the wrist. While turning the bezel on this prototype, it's firm with a clean click and has zero back play. Some people do not like their bezel action to be too firm. I personally like it because I know this bezel is not going to move unless I want it to. Let's go ahead and listen to what that action sounds like. The glass is a flat piece of sapphire crystal with an AR coating on the underside. And you can see as I work with the studio lighting, it does its job extremely well reducing glare. I'm very impressed with the glass and have no complaints in this area. One of the major highlights of this piece is that amazing dial. Set in a fish scale style pattern, it kind of reminds me of the honeycomb pattern you would see on some of the samurais. I love when companies use a pattern or grain texture on their dials. It creates so much more to look at when I'm admiring the piece. We have white and black applied indices that tie into the matching white chapter ring. A date window is placed at the six o'clock and the Borealis logo is printed just above the 12. Powering this piece is the Japanese Miyota 9015. It's a solid movement that makes for a good alternative to the Swiss ETA 2824 Two. On this channel, we have reviewed many pieces with the 9015. I find it to be solid and reliable. The movement vibrates at 28,800 BPH, offers hand and automatic winding, is hackable, and has a power reserve of around 42 hours. Borealis has gone ahead and included drilled lugs on this 316L stainless steel case that features a beautifully brushed center portion that is sandwiched in between a high polished top and bottom. One of the things I really love about this case is how angular the lugs are and how they pair up so nicely with the downward shaped edges of the end links. Flipping around back shows off the Borealis mermaid emblem with some information surrounding stating the company plus name given to the piece, the movement used, and the level of water resistance. With the Olisipo, we get a gorgeous president bracelet. It features solid links and end links that are made of 316L stainless steel. Removing the links will be a breeze due to the screw down pins. And one of the things Rob pointed out in his video is the extreme level of articulation with the bracelet that will lead to a very comfortable fit on the wrist. 
More Borealis branding has been applied to the brush flip lock clasp, and four micro adjustments are provided to help achieve the perfect fit. Opening up the clasp exposes the milled parts. That's something that I always like to see and is a step up from the usual pressed clasp that you would get in this price range when dealing with a mass produced brand. But let's take a look at the loom. The hands, indices, and bezel numerals have all been treated with Swiss made RC Tritech Super Luminous BGW9 Super Luminova. I find blue loom is not as overwhelmingly bright, but the type of loom used on this piece will hold its glow longer than many others that start out brighter initially. Here's a side by side shot next to an American quarter to give you a better representation of the scale. And here's a shot of my 6.75 inch wrist. I'm very happy with the way this piece fits. 40 millimeters hits that sweet spot, and the fact that it has those sharply angled lugs will help this piece wear well on a wrist that is smaller or larger than my own. But let's go ahead and cut to the outdoor shots so I can show you that natural light reflection. Alright, that's going to wrap up this review of the Borealis Olisipo. Big thanks again to Random Rob and Chris from the Watch Lounge, and thanks to all of you for sticking with me to the end of the video. I really do appreciate you all, and I'll see you in the next one.